Hey people, what's up? Um, I'm here after a long ass time. I don't think I've made a video in quite some time that actually involved me speaking. Uh, I think that was about a month ago almost. But um, here I am back to start another year of predictions and reviews for the big four pay-per-views because that's all I do. I do a prediction and a review for Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. I'm just kind of tired, so uh, let's try and get through this as quick as possible, if you guys don't mind that. All right. Just go into the Rumble card so I can talk about it and think of which matches are going to take place in order. All right. So, um, I believe that the night's going to start off with the ECW title match. Christian defending against Ezekiel Jackson. Now, well, some people think Jackson's going to win here, but I, I don't see them giving the title belt to Ezekiel Jackson. I kind of see... Actually, I completely see Christian retaining. I do not see Ezekiel Jackson getting the title tonight at all uh so yeah definitely for the ecw title match i see christian retaining in some sort of fashion um then i think we'll get like the women's title match michelle mccool defending against mickey james now this one i have been thinking about and i haven't really thought of a clear-cut winner but with you know it could go either way Really, Michelle could retain because, you know, she's a heel and they could have her keep going on to have a pretty long reign with the belt, you know. She's been champion since June, so they could have her retain again. But on the other hand, the last time these two combated on pay-per-view, Michelle won. She won the matchup, and that was at TLC uh, last month. So then again, they could give the title to Mickey to have the face prevail, so, I, I really don't know with this one. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Michelle McCool is going to retain again. Just because I think that's more likely than Mickey getting the belt. So, I'll go with that. Even though, it really, this match could really go either way, to be completely honest. Um, then, the, the WWE title match, Sheamus defending against Randy Orton. Um, now, this, again, this match could actually go either way. Um... But I'm going to go with one winner, and I will explain why because of another thing that's going to take place in the night. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb, like a huge fucking limb, like I'm cutting my arm off here, uh, and say that Orton's going to win the WWE title for a reason. Now, for one reason, I really don't see Sheamus holding that belt anytime soon. We're getting on, like, the Royal Rumble's officially the road to WrestleMania, so I don't see Sheamus really holding on to it down the road at all so i think this is a good way to get the belt off him and he can go do other stuff so that's one reason why i think orton will win and the other reason i will explain later in this video uh then we get the world heavyweight title match the undertaker defending against Rey mysterio as much as i'm looking forward to this match it's very predictable the undertaker is going to retain the title um you don't need to be a brain surgeon to figure that out just every other time ray is challenged for world titles after his first reign he's always lost you know he's just there to be filler for the champion and, yeah, you know, as as much as I'm looking forward to this match, it's going to be good. You know, it's way too predictable. Undertaker's obviously going to retain. And that brings us down to the 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble. Now, this is the main attraction of this show, and the reason why I've been looking forward to it so much is because it's so unpredictable this year. In fact, I find it to be more, predict uh, more unpredictable than last year's. Um... However, it doesn't have as many vacancies as last year's. I think last year's had like seven this year. They have five going into the match. As far as I still know, there's five open spots. Um, for some reason, the Hurricane and Santino Morella were removed from the Royal Rumble. Um, I'm guessing that uh, Gregory Helms, who is the Hurricane, might have because of his recent arrest. But then again, Jericho still gets to compete, but he's higher on the pecking order, so he gets to stay in there and... Uh, some people are saying Santino got removed due to a recent injury he might be suffering from. I don't know. But they got replaced by Matt Hardy and Chris Masters. And just earlier today, um, a new spot was given to R-Truth. So that's a total of 25 superstars that are going to be competing with five empty spots remaining. Um, which is pretty good for vacancies. Yeah, I kind of don't feel like guessing any of them because that, you know, would take too long and I don't feel like thinking of people, legends, superstars off the top of my head that could fill those spots. But when it really comes down to my thinking, it comes down to four superstars that I think are going to win. 
John Cena could win the Rumble because he's in that storyline saying, oh, I'm not going to win a match. I'm not going to stop winning matches. I'm just going to keep... I'm never going to lose until I get the champion, the, the WWE Championship back. So this could be another one of his victories to getting his title back. That's one way I could see uh, the Royal Rumble going. Another way, Shawn Michaels could win, perhaps, to get that HBK versus Taker rematch and actually have a reason for having the match. They could go that way, which is seems very likely. Um, and Kofi Kingston is my pick to win the Royal Rumble. I believe that Orton will win the WWE Championship earlier in the night, and Kofi will win the Royal Rumble. Now, again, the uh, I have another superstar I'm going to talk about, and Cena and Michael have a great chance to win, but I'm just giving my prediction. Like, this really could go either way before between these superstars, but I'm giving my Royal Rumble 2010 prediction pick to Kofi Kingston, just because Kofi's getting challenging for the WWE title doesn't mean it has to be the main event. Uh, if you remember when Rey Mysterio won the Rumble back in 2006, his main event match for the World Heavyweight title wasn't even the second last match on the card. Um, Undertaker versus Batista was actually in the middle of the card. Like This WWE title match between Orton and Kingston does not need to main event the pay-per-view. But... I believe he'll win the Rumble to give him a lot of momentum. A lot of people say he could win Money in the Bank, but that might probably go to Morrison or Christian. I see that more for them than Kofi winning the Rumble is my pick. Uh, another person who could possibly win is Edge if he's healthy. He could be a surprise entrant in the battle in the, the Royal Rumble. Only if he's even an entrant. I can't put my money on Edge to win because I don't even know if he's going to be participating in the Rumble. But if he does, he's a he's got a high chance to win the matchup. If he even shows up at all, because we don't know if he's healthy. Uh, from what I've been told, the earliest, you know, like he got injured in July. Um, the earliest he could return was November, and the latest his, he was due to return is March. And we're kind of in between that, so we don't know if he's healthy or not. We assume he could be injured, we assume he could be healthy, we'll find out. If he doesn't show up at the Rumble, then he's not medically cleared to wrestle. Um, but, you know, if he does enter the Rumble, he has a very good chance at winning. But, again, I can't put my money on him because I don't know if he's even going to be at the pay-per-view. So, my pick for 2010 Royal Rumble winner is Kofi Kingston. However, those other three superstars that I named, Edge, Cena, and Michaels, they have great shots at winning. Edge only if he returns. And both Cena and Michaels, in my opinion, have the same, like, 90% chance of winning. Uh, but I think they're kind of going to go with somebody new. Because Cena only won two years ago. And I, don't, I just don't see them. And the way they've been building up seems a little too obvious. And Michaels has been a long time since he's won a Rumble. But do you think they're going to do HBK Taker 2 again? They might. But I'm not I'm not bashing them down because they really do have a good chance to win. I'm just going with somebody new that they might want to do this year because, you know, it's A. They did three years in a row where former champions have won the Royal Rumble. Um, it's time to start fresh and do the new faces winning. So, yeah, there are my Rumble predictions. I bet I'm 100% wrong, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow. And uh, stay, po um, stay tuned for the review coming tomorrow. Peace out, people.